Hi, it's Neil here from KS Energy. I'm working from home at the moment because of this dreadful coronavirus. And uh, this is a lovely opportunity to talk about our latest battery. It's a Bluetooth uh, enabled 120 amp hour leisure battery within iron phosphate battery. Um, I've just had one here shipped in by air freight. Um, so this comes in by air freight, it has to be in a UN approved package and uh, I'll just go through that. So I'm going to just de-box this. Now this one, I've asked the production line not to seal it up. So I'm going to take it apart. We're going to take a look inside. Mm. So let's get this out of the box. Now the other thing to point out about shipping these, particularly by air freight is they have to be discharged to a 30% or below state of charge um, so that should also be the case and the terminals they're insulated for double safety um, actually all of this is debatable I'll go through that why in a moment but uh, take a look at uh, our battery poles brass now that's a 25% better resistance um, lower resistance I should say than steel um, what we were using before it's hard material um, this is the best you can use copper and it's quite um, brass rather uh, now that's quite important because what we want to do is have the lowest possible resistance when um, terminals are done up otherwise it can cause heating of the poles. So I put a couple of um, terminals on here. So the first thing we're just going to take a look at that it does actually have short circuit protection. Now, if this was a lead battery um, and I were to short terminals out, I'd expect them to instantly weld together. We'd probably see this glow red hot and then burst into flames. So hopefully this isn't going to happen. There we go. It's cut out. Should automatically reset. He says. I'll give it a short while. Um, so as soon as it senses any current above 320 amps or so, um, within a split second, a few microseconds, in fact, it uh, it will trip out. There we go. So it's, it had reset itself. So if that was a lead battery, you wouldn't be seeing that. Uh, happen. You wouldn't be see, seeing that. It, we, we'd, we'd have a fire here basically. They would have welded together. Um, this would all be melting and dripping off and then there'd be molten metal everywhere. So there's all of this um, capers about a 30% state of charge and yet um, it's got built-in short circuit protection unlike a lead battery. The other thing about um, the shipping and the UN shipping regulations is they say you can ship Libyan batteries in equipment, but if you ship a Libyan battery on its own without equipment, then it has to be discharged to 30% a 30 state of charge for safety. Um, I, I think this is debatable really, uh, when it comes to these leisure batteries, because really what we've got here is cells with a battery management board so it's ar argue you could argue that the whole box here is actually a product on its own rather than a battery and the individual battery are the cells inside anyway uh, that's perhaps a debate for another day however um we're going to take a look inside so i've asked uh, that this one be left unsealed let's take a look so let's take the lid off and uh, take a look. Um, firstly, the terminal posts, nicely insulated here. This is the Bluetooth module. This will be the wireless antenna. This will be going off to the battery management board, uh, picking up the uh, Bluetooth data. And we have a
piece of industrial film there. And here's the battery management system with its big heat sink here. There are four wires going to each terminal, insulated terminal. The wires are um, silicon 200 degrees C, 10 American wire gauge. Now, each one of those uh, can carry 75 amps at um, and will be touching 200 degrees at 75 amps. So four of them, so that's 300 amps um, this can happily carry. And of course, short circuit at 320 amps, so perfect wiring. And the BMS board itself uh, can handle a continuous current of 860 amps. Uh, so it's all nicely wired to specification. See if I can uh, lift the battery management board out a little bit here for you. Okay, here we go. So, again, we have um, some industrial plastic film here, which is bonded or rather screwed to the bottom of the battery management board. Don't know if you can see that, but there's a whole bank of MOSFETs there. Um, this is where we get our 160 amp continuous rating from. Don't know how many are, are there off the top of my head, but um, perhaps that's something we can do dismantle the uh, BMS at a later date because uh, it's quite a complex BMS, having a current shunt and uh, the data being taken off to the Bluetooth uh, transmitter. Uh, here are our battery balancing wires. And then here are the lithium iron phosphate cells. Now these are uh, 3 to 700 cells. So they're 32 millimeter diameter, 700 millimeters length so i'm going to see if i can get this bank of batteries out next so i've uh, managed to get the cell bank out of the box here um, so let's just take a look at this now the 32 700 cells i'll just point out them this cylindrical cells um, with threaded studs each end so they screw together now this is great because um, the whole assembly is bolted together. There are four banks of 20 of these cells. They're 6,000 milliamp power. Um, so 120 amp hour total. Um, you can do the calculation quite easily from that. Each cell is nominal voltage of 3.2 volts. Uh, yeah, so I was going to talk about the cylindrical cells. Now they are bolted together throughout. Um, and this is a great assembly method that we've got here because rather than spot welding these cells together, um, th this is putting absolutely no um, thermal or mechanical stress at all on uh, the stainless steel outer casing. Um, I don't think there's much else I can really show you here. Uh, we've got the thermostat here glued to the cell bank uh, to monitor its temperature, just in case it's over or under temperature. There'll also be a um, temperature sensor on the heat sink here to um, ensure that the BMS isn't going over temperature. And of course, these are our cell balancing connections here. So there we go. What else can I tell you about the cells? That's um, not a lot really. I mean, as opposed to prismatic cells, cylindrical cells are mechanically more stable um, because of their inherent design. 
Um, so we do prefer these in our super, um, in our super serious premium batteries. Uh, there's actually just one more thing that I wanted to mention, and that's on the BMS here: low temperature protect charge protection. Um, so this is going to monitor the uh, cell temperature, and if it's below freezing, it's it um, the BMS is not will not allow any charge at all because as you may well know attempting to charge any lithium cell irregardless of what chemistry it is below zero can cause permanent catastrophic damage okay i hope you enjoy the view of the battery thanks for watching